What is up, YouTube? Going to do something a little funky right now. Um, just rummage some nice Acunas. And I'm going to make a quick video on Pokemon. I might bring out my comics and do another one, too. Just uh, kind of in honor of uh, New York Comic Con. Eric over at Those Back Pages is uh, doing some videos of that. And it's just amazing how many people are into Comic Con. So, um and he kind of encouraged me to show my Pokemon cards, but uh, I'm not a Pokemon collector. I was at a show with my son, and uh, he's real little, so he's not he's not into baseball cards. Oh, he's into baseball cards, but somebody had Pokemon there, and it just caught his eye. Now, this is a side little topic here that I didn't really think about, but for some reason, out of the we were at a we were at a sports card show, and for some reason. Out of everything that, I mean, piles, out of everything that was there, just sports cards, baseball, bats, I mean, jerseys, uh, you know, a bazillion cards all set up and on display, he gravitated to a pack of Pokemon cards. So there's something in the marketing that we need to do or we need to talk about for kids. I, I'm still, I think I'm going to go to national day. I'd love to get to the tops for them and, uh, and just lay this out on them. But we got to do a better job of attracting young people into the hobby anyway. So he got on this, uh, Pokemon thing and just wouldn't let it quit. And then the next table we were at, he was like, you got any Pokemon? And the guy was like, yeah, I got this big old binder. So, um, I can't even get it on the screen here. I'm going to have to move some cards to make some room. Oh, my word, my fish collection, my funny, funny card collection. Um, there. Whew. And it was, you know, obviously some kid's uh, collection, and uh, I paid 20 bucks for it. So I don't think there's really anything in here. I don't know what any of it means. Half of this is all in Japanese or whatever. Um we haven't played the game. I don't think he's old enough to play. Uh, maybe he is. Um, but there's all kinds of stuff here. Pocket monsters. And there's like a lot of this. Like this Persian. I can't get after it. But all right, this, maybe this one here. EV. Persian looks better. I'm assuming the number at the top has something to do with some sort of power. But there's like 10 of them in there. It's like, you know, this page has probably got 30 cards. Just just that. Every, every one of these has like five or six of them. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what any of this means. Polywog. Somebody was saying there's like first editions. And I don't think I have any of that in here. But it's like... I literally have five of every card. I think you play with a... I looked it up. I think you play with a 60-card deck. Boy, I need, like, a better angle on this. But, uh, well, just look at the top two, I guess. There was a shiny one in here somewhere. These are trainers. Again, some more Japanese ones. Um, some of them look to be in good condition. Some of them look like they've been played. I'm assuming the better ones are probably the one... The ones that have been played. But, um, Pocket Monsters. I don't know. Is it, do they all look like Pocket Monsters? No. Okay. So, Pocket Monsters. These must be something different. Look at these Japanese ones here. I don't know why we would have Japanese ones. You can't. I mean, this must be somebody's real collection because I, you know, I guess you could play with them if you know what you're talking about. These are all. Oh, that was a Pokemon card. So some of these were Pokemon. These are Pokemon cards. Oh man, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be showing here. Um, here. These are, uh, this is the last of the po Pocket Monster. And then these are Pokemon. Pokemon. Got a bad angle here. I think we'll just stick with the top two rows. Bulbasaur, that sounds familiar. 
Probably just a little guy. I don't know. Pokeball, flip a coin. I think you need dice and coins or something to play this game, but these are loaded. I mean, there's literally one, two, three, four, five. There's like eight of each one of these. So many cards here. Starmie. Psyduck. Ooh, Dugong is 80 HP. Got a bunch of them. Trainer. I have no idea what any of this is. Metapod. Metapod? 70 HP. I think they come out with a lot bigger HPs. I guess the reality is, is I could put together one heck of a deck if I wanted to. Charmander, that sounds somewhat familiar. Some more Japanese one. Those are pocket monsters. I might have to reorganize this. Whoever had it. Well, whoever had it probably knew what they were doing more than I do, but I don't know why Pokemon and pocket monsters are in, in with each other. Not all, all at once. Magmar. Charmeleon. It's got 80 HP. I'm assuming, like, I feel like I've seen, wow, look at that one. It's Rhydon. It's got 100 HP. I'm assuming a lot of these are the older ones. I, I think I read something somewhere on this where some of the newer cards have higher HP, but they've been really trying to work on the game and putting things, other cards in there that you can switch so that even a, a novice player with not good cards can at least... Still battle with somebody that's pretty good. Gold Duck. Kind of weird cards. I it's probably because it's unfamiliar. I don't know how to play the game. Um, Nidorina is seventy HP. Like literally, I got five of those at least, something like that. three of those so like these top two look like they've been used a little bit but the back ones are in pretty good shape hmm. i don't know somebody's gonna have to teach me how to play pokemon at some point i'm sure there's something on youtube let's see what else we got here I mean, there's just tons of these cards. I don't even know how many cards are here. I should just take them all out. Oh, man. RK9. 100 HP. Man. Got a couple of those. Of course, now I got to be careful putting them back in. The guy I bought them from didn't really know exactly what they were. So I went back to the card, the table that was selling the packs of Pokemon. And uh, I brought the book over. The guy was kind enough to let me bring it over. And he said, I don't know. I wouldn't pay too much for it. And the guy wanted 20 so I figured it was fair enough. And I just gave him 20 and didn't think anything of it. I probably could have got it for a little bit less. But he seemed like a nice guy. I felt bad for him. He had his cards, like, all random. Like, he had, like, a whole 8-foot table of, you know, four or five row, probably four row boxes. And there had to have been, like, double... So there had to have been like 24 row boxes of sports cards and they were completely random. And it's like, you know, you're looking at stuff and you want baseball and now this one's got gold. What's this all about? Kids WB pre pre present Pokemon. The first movie, some sort of like advertisement. Got a couple of those. Pikachu, he seems pretty um, popular. So get a couple of Pikachus, I guess. But uh, it's like, dude, who wants to just sit here and go through all these? Like, it wasn't even by sport. Like, I'm looking through a bunch of hockey stuff, and you know, I don't mind. I like, I like hockey, but it's like, dude, you need to like when you come to a show and nobody's talking to you, you need to be sorting. People are like picking stuff up. You just put it back wherever you want. It's just, I don't know. So I kind of felt bad for the guy because nobody was. Everybody's kind of like, "Oh my god, I don't even have time to look through all of this." 
And uh, so I was like, all right, I'll buy this. And I can't remember if I bought a couple singles. I don't think I did, but couldn't find anything. Anyway, there's my binder of uh, Pokemon Japanese Pocket Monster. There, you can see that. And then a bunch of regular back Pokemon cards. I have no idea what any of it means. Someday maybe I'll bring it somewhere and somebody can tell me. Or maybe I'll start playing and figure it out. But anyway, got a little cockeyed here. Um, appreciate you guys watching a weird video on Pokemon. And if you guys are open to anything, best of luck to you. Don't forget to collect to connect and show some of your weird stuff. All right, have a great day, guys.